Hey. Hello. Good evening, Morigami friends. Uh, here we are at uh, Alpino, what's called Residencial Alpino? Uh, Monterey, Nuevo León, uh, for Origami Night. After the Origami Convention, the Origami USA Convention. Here we are with uh, Alejandro. Hey. Memo. And Victor. Oh. And my phone fell. <laughs> and I dropped my phone. That's okay. And there's, and there, there's Victor. Okay. Say hi, Victor. So, um, after that little telephone incident, I uh, got back the other day. Well, all of us got back the other day. Memo, um, Alejandro, and I. And we are getting together for our usual weekly origami night. And I decided to go through all the goodies that I got at the convention. Particularly the, uh, the pins from the pin exchange. And I thought I'd just uh, share that with you. So, let's see. Lots of interesting pins. Uh, for the pin exchange, I made elephants. Um, my own design of elephants. I don't have one here to show you because I gave them all away. Uh, and I got all sorts of different colorful and interesting pins. So, where to start? Uh, let's see. We'll start with the smallest. The, uh, the smallest is this one. It says, wishing you an excellent year of the rooster. And inside this little plastic egg, there is... Well, I can't get it open, but take my word for it. Inside there is a little rooster, a little origami rooster. So that's the, the smallest pin that I got at the, uh, at the convention. Let's see what else we got. Well, this is one uh, that's a uh, compass rose, and this design is by Ale. Yeah. Designed and folded by him. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what he was trading at the convention, and uh, he has on the back you know, the information about that. That's a cool one. Um, okay. Let's see, the most complex one that I got was this rose. Ooh. And this is the... Who made those? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Well, it was, it was, a, it was a, ja a Japanese woman, and she really? didn't put her name on it, and so I, I don't know uh, wow, who it was, but yes, it's beautiful. Me very mucho. Me Está padre, huh? Very beautiful, very detailed. Thank you. Sure, here we go. Memo so wants to look at too. So, what else we have here? Uh, that was the most complicated. The perhaps the most unusual is a an origami corset, uh, which is well, it's different. <laughs> and uh, so I guess I could probably use one because I'm getting a little chubby around the waist. And you know, at any rate, this is a uh, that's an origami corset. This is folded by Linda Music or Music or. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. It's cute. It's called Corset YouTube Paper Kawaii. Oh, so she's on, on YouTube. Paper Kawaii. So check her out on YouTube. Next, um, let's see. This is another cute one. This is a... It says on here somewhere. What is it? Uh, it is a Kokeshi doll. Kokeshi doll. This was folded by Patty Grodner. And she put her little in here. Uh, I'm seeing this laundry uh, in mirror image. I hope that the people who are, who are watching will be able to see this in the correct uh, orientation. So this is not a mirror image. So cute little Kokeshi doll. We also have, let's see, um, oh this is one that's very different. This, um, I'll show it to you the way I got it. This is a box, of course, at first sight. I think it's, it's a two, well, made of three pieces. We have the decorative element in the top, and then the top itself. I think this is a, a piece of duo kami. It's stuck in the top. And the, this is also duo, which is why I have the green and, uh, so the green and yellow is one sheet, the blue and red is another. And then we have the yellow bottom, and we have a pin with a crane. And this pin is made from paper clay. Uh, paper clay, but made from paper clay by Susan Wetling and is semi waterproof. And uh, so that's a kind of a neat thing. Paper clay, I guess it's clay made out of paper. I don't know, but it's a nice pin. I should note this was a pins plus exchange. As I say that some people made pins and some people made something else. That's what the plus represents, the, the something else. 
Next. <coughs> oh, this is from John Blackman. He didn't write his name on it. It is a pea pod or a bean pod. And the reason for this is because in the exhibit, he folded uh, a big vertical display of Jack and the Beanstalk. So at the, at the base, he has the little town and the house, and he has the beanstalk going all the way up, like six feet, seven feet up, and on top he has the castle, the, the giant's castle, and stuff like that, and the peapot. So that was kind of a neat, um, a neat thing. Then there's this one. This one doesn't have a name on it, so I don't know who did it, but it's a, it's a real pin, and it's um, pretty cool. Next, we have uh, a Scottish Terrier folded, uh, created by Peter Paul Forcher, or Forche, I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce that last name, and folded by Heidi Lenny. And uh, you can find the diagram on Carmen's Origami Zeiten. Well, Zeiten. How do you pronounce what? Origami Zeiten or Zeiten? That's German? I, I'm thinking it is. Comments origami zeiten. Origami zeiten. Zeiten. Dot de. Origami zeiten dot de. Zeiten. That's like saying like site, like website. 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 There you go. See website. Yeah. <laughs> I don't speak. Any, I don't speak German, as you can tell. Uh, anyway, that's kind of a cool. It's a very cute, uh, cute Scotty dog. I think I have the diagrams to that somewhere. Next, we have a stand-up crane is very nice. The idea is that this is, can be used to present business cards uh, or uh, or a, like a placeholder at the table or something like that. Can I see it? It also looks like an elephant who turned upside down. <laughs> kind of cool. Um, nice. Like a crane but seen from the front. Exactly. It's like it's a crane seen from the front sitting down with his wing, wings spread out. Nice. Um, or as I say, an, an elephant head. Nice design. It's like an anagram or how do you Oh, right, like one of those, yeah, it looks like one way you put it one way, it looks something else the other way, right, like the rabbit or the, uh -huh. the duck, exactly, yes. A gestalt change. This is a gestalt change. Yeah. And I got as well. That's true, I, I don't know if I've seen many gestalt, if any gestalt changes, but, well, actually, yes, there's some, there's a, a one that's either, um, oh, what's it? The two different faces, and you turn them around and see the faces uh, differently. It's in, it's origami, origami, <laughs> Secrets of Origami by Robert Harbin has one. Uh, another pin, no name, so I couldn't tell you who uh, who designed it, but it's pretty cool. It's a modular, I uh, would assume, no, actually, I'm sorry, I take that back. I don't think it's modular, I think it's just a one-piece model. It's nice. A tulip. That's kind of cute. Again, no name, so I'm not sure who made it, but it's really, it's a nicely done, simple model. A bag, and this bag has a little pin to keep it closed. And inside the bag, when I got it, was some candy. So, can't argue with that. <laughs> Origami and candy, that is a win. Oh, it's not, yeah. yeah, definitely. It's not the only one that came with candy, actually. The Kokeshi doll also had candy in it. Then we have this. This is a, a cute um, model uh, made by Shelley Handen of Pennsylvania. And she made both um, horses and unicorns. I'm trying to get this. Uh, so I can show you what it looks like. Give me a second here. Just getting the tag back in place. Okay, here we go. Cute little unicorn. Now I think the horn is from a separate sheet of paper, but it's 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 cute. I like it. Next we have a. This is also a a, a pin, a wearable pin. And it is a a kissing fish. Cute model, and this is it's called Kissy Fish, and it's folded by Enik O'Shaughnessy. Nice little kissy fish. Uh, this one has no name, but it's a beautiful modular star kind of a thing. Also a wearable pin. I don't actually wear pins most of the time, but hey, it's a pin trade. What are you going to do? Um, this one is a bird toothpick holder. Also a pin. I'm not sure how you combine the pin and the toothpick holder. I guess you put it on, and then when you're... You know, you put your toothpicks in there, you take them out and clean your teeth and put them back in. Probably not. It's probably when it's separate, you use it as toothpick holder. It's cute. I like it. Cute little, little thing. All right. So let's put this one away. Here we go. Next, we have a cockroach. Lovely cockroach. 
uh, created by Kyohei Katsuta. Yeah, it's lovely. It is. It's, all, all God's creatures are beautiful. Well, not when they're in my kitchen, but when they're made out of paper, they're beautiful. And <laughs> folded by Kazuyo Mizukami. Yeah. Um, and back on by Elisa Mizukami. So uh, forgive me for mispronouncing anything there, but it's a cute little, little cockroach. Next, we're almost done with the, with the pins. Next, we have uh, uh, one folded by Nancy Brandvine. Brandwine, very nice. Also a wearable pin. Um, probably one piece of paper. No, two pieces of paper. I see eight corners uh, of eight raw corners. That can't be one. That's got to be two pieces of paper. But it's nice. It's a nice design. Next, we have a tulip cup designed by Tomoko Fuse and folded by Cindy Reynaud. Very nice. Very nice. And... Um, this one is nice. This is, the, I think, the fanciest presentation, probably. It's an ice pop designed by Makoto Yamaguchi and folded by Eiko Matsura. Very nice. Fancy paper, shiny paper, nice background. And um, the card is, is removable, so you can wear the pin and just have your little, your little popsicles. Very nice. Uh, a bear. Where's the sheet? Okay, this is an origami bear. Not an origami bear, an origami bear. Uh, made from 100% kami in assorted flavors with no added tape or glue. By Margaret Wong. Warning, they all taste the same. Like paper. <laughs> it's a cute, it's an origami bear. I like it, very cute. I'm gonna put that uh, label back in the bag so I don't forget it later on. Origami bear. All right, where are you going to be there? Taken care of. Just three left. Here we have a, uh, it's a wallet, right? It has the name of the convention on one side, on the other side, the dates uh, and location of the convention. Uh, wallet created by Humiaki Huzita, Huzita, arranged by Kathy Stevic. And so it's a wallet because you can stick, you know, money inside or whatever. I, I think this came with candy or something like that. It was, it was, I remember it was good. I don't remember, I was so busy in the vacation, I don't remember what it was exactly, but it was really good. Um, then we have a box that I think also came with candy in it, pretty sure. It's a semi-flat case created by Gerardo, Gerardo of Mini Neo fame, uh, folded by Maureen Miller Calamo, or Calamo, I don't know how she pronounces it, forgive me uh, for mauling the name. So it's a nice uh, narrow box, and uh, it's again, it's a two-piece model, a practical model. If you don't know Gerardo from Neo or, or Neo Origami, uh, he particularly folds practical models, and this is a very practical model. It's a nice box. Now the last thing that I want to show you is not actually a pin, and I didn't get the pin exchange, but it's similar in size, and uh, it's really cool, so I want to comment on it. Uh, so in this little plastic container, we have a crane, and this crane, this little cord, uh, was folded by Sue Duggan, a friend of mine, uh, and she took it with a, th a thousand cranes, I think she took more than a thousand, to Hiroshima. And so she you know, gave the thousand cranes there, as, as people do, and took the ones that were extra and place them under the monument, at the, uh, under the bell that's there at the place where uh, where the bomb fell, and they have the a, you know the statue of um, of what's the girl's name? Uh, a thousand cranes. Sadako Sasaki. Sadako Sasaki. There we go. Under the, the statue of Sadako uh, yeah, Sasaki, Sasaki. Mm -hmm. and rang the bell, the peace bell, and then she picked up the cranes again and brought them back and gave them to people. So she gave me this one. So this crane has been all the way to Hiroshima wow. and back. So that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Thank you, Sue. All right. That's it for the uh, from pins from the Pin Exchange. And uh, I hope you thought that was interesting. I hope that you come to Origami USA next year and bring pins and trade. I look forward to it. And I um, hope to trade with you next year. So from Origami, signing off for now. Keep folding. See you soon.